for the tibial nerve test, and the tibial nerve serves your, your calves and down here into the plantar aspects of the fruit, foot. Um, the main thing is what you're wanting is you're wanting um, a, a stretch from here, from the hip, um, by flexing the hip, and you're going to get a stretch by dorsiflexion and eversion of the foot. So that and that way of the of the foot. So it's it's a dorsiflexion and it's eversion. So that's what we're trying to achieve. The starting position of the patient is the same as for your straight leg test, i.e. just straighten the couch, slightly nearer your side than central, no pillow, and your, the leg straight. And you need to achieve that dorsiflexion and eversion, and you need to be able to lift the leg. So you need to position yourself in some way that you can achieve that. You can, if you like, try and wrap your hand round like this, so that you've got a push on the, on the little toe. The main thing is you need to be pushing on this lateral side, on the, on the little toe side of the foot. So you can either do it like that and lift it like that. And then, as they say that's starting to hurt, you can ask them to bring their head up and that will increase the stretch further. And if that elicits more pain, it looks like it's nerve. And so take their head down, then it's, it's not nerve. Just doing that is just going to increase the muscle tension. So that's not actually going to let you know whether it's nerve or not. So you need to bring a nerve stretch in further, which is why you use the head. So bringing the head in, that's increasing the pain. Taking the head out, that's decreasing the pain. I haven't done anything different to the muscle, therefore the muscle tension is staying the same. So it's not muscle, it's nerve. So that's your differential diagnosis. And then to slide that, so if Maggie brings her head up, there's the absolute maximum stretch. I mean, obviously I could bring this further up, but that's too painful. So take your head back down, that shortened it a bit. So as she brings her head up now, to keep that nerve the same, I need to just take this down a wee bit. And there's your sliding the nerve. Or what I could do, as she brings her head up to release it, I could just take a little bit of the dorsiflexion and plant a flexion out, dorsif sorry, dorsiflexion and eversion out, and then as she takes her head down, I put that dorsiflexion and eversion back in, head up, dorsiflexion and eversion out, and that's the sliding of the nerve.